Yola! Hello! I had so many plans about what I was gonna do for today's video. And then I came in here, sat down, and suddenly my head was blank. It's cold and it's raining, so this is me today. I figure let's just take this time to do a new makeup releases video. Woo! We haven't done one of these in a really long time, so I think that'll be fun. I haven't looked at Trend Mood in so long. I think it's been at least two, maybe three and a half months, which is for the best. So the most recent post on Trend Mood's page is the Physician's Formula Face Palette. It's called Vacay Mode, six pressed powders, a bronzer, a blush, a highlighter. I do have their Muru Muru bronzer, which I do really like, and it smells pretty good, but their range was just so pathetic. Somebody ended up giving me that bronzer. I was really surprised it worked, but I think that was their first time making a bronzer that worked for me. Um, but yeah, I would never, I'm not interested in spending money with Physicians Formula ever. Also, they kind of just come out with the same colors over and over again, so I just don't care. So, Ofra Cosmetics is coming out with more highlighters. Okay, these are holiday themed, $35 each. Okay, so I see they have cute names like pumpkin pie, gumdrop, sugar cookie, etc. Um, $35 for a highlight is too much. Also, I don't like, I think I said this in a previous video, but I don't like the way that Ofra Cosmetic highlighters are shaped. It turns me off so much. I would prefer if it was just a flat shade, but the way it has the ridges, I don't know, this is me being super picky, but the Ofra Cosmetics highlighters look so... unappealing to me um also who is still buying highlighters over cosmetics their main thing is highlighters and they just make new highlighters surely the sales have declined right surely they need to start coming up with more ideas than just more highlighters because at what point does the market become so not even saturated just like everybody who wants that many highlighters has probably already bought them I just, um, oh my gosh, these swatches, this literally looks like my ColourPop Good As Gold palette, which I just talked to you about in yesterday's video. Um, these three look way too light, which for some people that's fine. Yeah, no, I'm, I don't care. I don't care. I, I'm sure they're pretty. Like, that's the thing, I'm sure they're pretty. Other than that, I'm just not interested. I feel like I came off kind of strong there about Ofra. Ofra, like, do your thing. I am rooting for you. I'm indifferent towards you. I'm not mad though. So next we have, oh shnikes. Kaleidos is coming out with a new multi-chrome highlighter. Welcome to, say hello to the Space Age Gifted, a multi-chrome glow by Kaleidos. So they have the Prophecy one, which I never bought. They had a pretty good Black Friday sale this year, but, and I was this close. That was the first sale. I think there were three sales this year for Black Friday that actually tempted me. Ultimately, I decided not to. So it looks like, I just swiped the photo set. Um, yeah, it looks like this one is exactly the kind of multi-chrome highlight I would want. So, unless Kaleidos comes out with a palette that I absolutely can't deny that I just feel like I really, really want to have, I probably won't buy this multi-chrome highlight until next Black Friday when it's on a sale. So I'm gonna hold my horses. Um, let's see, Elf Cosmetics. Glossy Lip Stain. Okay, Elf Cosmetics is coming out with a few new products. It looks like it's not a collection. They're completely independent of each other. We have four new bite-size eyeshadow palettes. No thank Thank you I have enough neutrals and those don't look appealing to me they're giving Shein makeup like the bottle looks like Shein makeup but it looks cute it looks cute I don't need any more lip products though so I'm good Colourpop skip it's the same old same old uh Juvia's Place coming out with another blue eyeshadow palette that they've already come out with before no thank you Juvia's Place They've put out a couple palettes that I I, I understood. I, I get it. Like the Deuce palette or the um, 
The Wahala palette after a while started to speak to me. I think the Wahala 2 palette. Other than that, the Juvia's Place palettes, they're so random to me. The colors they put in there are so, like, I don't, <laughs> it's like my eyes are just going everywhere. So yeah, I'm good. The beauty, oh, they're reminding us, the 20% off at Sephora ends Sunday, December 12th. You know, I wouldn't mind getting something from Rare Beauty. To this day, I haven't bought anything from Rare Beauty. I do have the blushes, but I got those as a gift. I want to try the foundation and concealer really bad. So, well, and the lip souffle, and the glossy lip balm, and the primer, and the dewy setting spray, and, <laughs> and the liquid eyeshadows. Yeah, so... Maybe we'll do a video with Rare Beauty this month. Who knows? Rare, oh, speak of the devil. Here's Rare Beauty right here. New shades of the soft pinch liquid blush. Hope, encourage, and believe. So at first I thought it was kind of corny how all of her products were named after these positive words, which is like, is positivity corny? I don't know. It was, a, it felt corny, but now I'm kind of like, now that she's just doubling down on it. <laughs> like she's just, she's, it's here to stay, I see. It's here to stay and I'm just gonna have to get on board. I'm like, okay, it's, it's fun, it's fun, I like it. I want a little bit of hope on my cheeks, a little bit of encouragement on my cheeks. Yeah, I could go for that. Believe, which looks to be a true mauve and it's a dewy one, which I love. Maybe Believe is for me, but we'll see. We'll see if I take this 20% from Sephora. MAC Cosmetics and Lisa. Is that Lisa from uh, um, Hot Pink? No, Black Pink. <laughs> Black Pink. <clears throat> Why you like that? Do, 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 do. Uh, nah, nah. You wanna lick the ice cream, ice cream. Yeah, I'm I know what's going on over there with in K-pop world. This actually looks really 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 cute. So it's coming with a liner, a highlight, a blush, and a liquid lip. The highlight looks to be like a gold pink duochrome. Very cute. The lip colors are cute, but I don't want a liquid lipstick and I don't want those colors either. I have those colors. And the palette, I don't know if it's because they put a filter on this, but it looks very washed out in the swatches. So I'd probably only want the highlight and I'm not about to go to maccosmetics.com just to get a highlight. So um, shout out to the K-pop fans. I know that's a win. Lisa's like the coolest one, right? Lisa's cute. I like, I watched a little Netflix documentary of Blackpink. Um, Loki, I should do a deep dive on K-pop and all of those things because there's a lot of weird things going on over there. I feel like anytime I've been on K-pop Twitter or other corners of the internet where there's K-pop stands, it's kind of just massively ignored that power dynamics are a little unbalanced and I use a little very loosely. They're very, very unbalanced. Like these young girls leave their whole families to train and maybe get picked and we don't think like there's definitely things going on. Anyway, I'm moving on. <sighs> Congrats to Lisa. This is super cute. It it feels like a Lisa vibe. So Fenty with the kilowatt fluid freestyle highlighter. Hmm. So I kind of got on Halsey a little bit because I was like, her highlights look ashy. And someone commented on that video and said, if it looks ashy, maybe you need a deeper shade. And I was like, I understand why you would say that and think that, but actually no, because it was the right shade for me. The problem was when you have that pearlescent glow, when anything says pearlescent or pearl finish, I immediately think ashy because there's like, what it means is like there's these reflex and the pearlescent whatever that's in there, the pigment, is going to refract light in a way where 
it can look ashy. There's gonna be a base color, but it's gonna flash ashy. Do you know what I'm saying? I hope you get me. Anyway, I say all that to say these Fenty highlights look like they're doing the same thing. These look kind of ashy to me. So you see this shade, right? Obviously this shade is deep enough. It, it is even probably too deep for me. I get it, it's like a deep gold, but it's like that pearl finish. It's ashy. You don't have to agree, but tell me you understand. Nabla, Nabla Cosmetics, love you. You're so good. Are they coming out with another glitter palette? They are. It's called the Glorious Lights Palette. If I wasn't scared of glitter, I would have bought one of these by now. This is their third glitter palette. This is cute, but you know, I'm okay. It's Artist Couture. Artist Couture is like, I really like the shape of their palettes. I like that it's small, it's condensed. It, I get, the point comes across. This is actually a cute nude palette. I'm really shocked that I feel this way. Everything in me says that I shouldn't like this, and I do. I will not buy it, and I have no issue with not buying it. It looks like not much has been coming out. I mean, I'm scrolling. I'm scrolling through. I'm trying to find something. Another ColourPop palette. Uh... Oh, okay, here's one. This is the second brand that almost got me to spend some money on Black Friday, which is so funny because they're currently doing a 12 days of deals right now. The first day was like buy a gloss, get a gloss. Alamar Cosmetics and their Disney collection for the new movie Encanto. Is there an accent mark on here? I always hear my Spanish teacher's voice in my head. Con acento, Alia, con acento. Yes, Miss Ramos, I know, I know. The Encanto collection. <laughs> oh gosh. Anyway, this is a pretty palette. There's no denying that. The in the swatches though, the colors look like they have that white flip, like a duochrome. You know, you know how it it um it's like the base color, but then it flips kind of white. Like again, it's giving me that ashy feeling. It's it's not ashy though. It's not. I wouldn't call this ashy, it's just, when you give it that white flip, you lose me. I just realized that the camera stopped recording. I just realized that. How long was that going on for? Okay, I have no idea where that video cut off, but I was, um, if I didn't, if it cut off the Encanto collection, <sighs> I like the collection. Okay, that's, that's really what I said, that's it. Damn, you know how freaking discouraging it is when you're talking and the camera stops recording? The, oh, Ariana Grande. I did see videos of people trying the brand and the liquid eyeshadows look good. I'm sure the lipsticks are good. I don't doubt that they're good. Um, I do like the green and the purple highlights. The eyeshadows, like, come on. If we're all the way back to Ariana announcing her line, then this is pretty far back releases. Okay, it looks like there wasn't much that I missed, to be quite honest with you. So that's nice to know. So fun talking to you, as always. See you tomorrow.